Do you remember uh, when the Canada line was under construction, the problems, uh, again, SNC-Lavalin around bringing in a foreign workers and then not paying them? Do you yeah, recall the details Yeah, they paid them $4 an hour, yeah, to the foreign workers. And, uh, and uh, it was, yeah, it was announced uh, on the, in the media. And uh, that's how they cut the, uh, the budget. And, uh, you know, they cut corners building that, that Canada line that will have to pay as taxpayers and whatever for the next, uh, who knows how many years, uh, because the contract doesn't expire till July of 20, uh, uh, 2040 uh, with SNC. They signed a long-term contract, and they even managed to get the city of Vancouver to uh, slip it under the carpet for the city to pay for the Olympic station. The city of Vancouver had to pay for that station under that arrangement, that, and that's what part of the money that I presume is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That said, there were legal actions um, because of Im improper action. Um, similarly, um, budgeted amounts versus actuals. Do you recall that the, the original bids when they went in were exceeded astronomically when implemented? Can you, do you recall that? Yeah, no, we, we, we uh, yeah. I mean, as I said, that's why Richmond would like public inquiry on the, on the Canada line. And, uh, and Vancouver Council should uh, join them and, uh, and, and get what, uh, the, all the truth of what exactly happened and why did they cut all the corners around and why the stations are so sh sh short and all these uh, problems that we're going to have for the next few generations, you know. Finally, given uh, what happened with uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould, and which has been front of the news in Canada for the last couple of months, uh, do you have any thoughts on why we would not in, uh, review the relationship with SNC-Lavalin at the city or even at the TransLink level? No, I mean, the, the, the information or review, is, is there's nothing wrong with getting the information. The is that the city of Vancouver is not like the city of Calgary in charge of transit. Transit in Calgary, the city is in charge of everything. The city of Vancouver is part of, of Metro Vancouver and part of the, of the, of the Metro Council uh, 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 of mayors on, on transportation. So that's the difference. And, uh, and the city of Vancouver, many people don't know, that the city of Vancouver has only 25% of the ridership I mean, of the population, but has 50% of the ridership in yeah. the region. That's your time. And we should have more say.